Peace everybody, this is Brandy. I am docking another artist this week. Um, thank you for tuning in. I am docking Blackbeard, the musician, and um, I'll just tell you a little bit about the rundown and how this thing happened. So I get a text from Blackbeard. He's like, yo, we rehearsing because I've been on him like, yo, I gotta dock you, I gotta dock you. So I'm up downstairs at Pal's um, club that he owns on Auburn Avenue in Atlanta. So I'm standing there and this cat walks in. And I'm like, I kind of know who this dude is. I've seen him before. So um, it turns out that he is a bass guitar player. And he actually played for um, my homegirl, Khalila Ali, at one of her performances. And I remember that performance because it literally was like one of the best performances because the, the energy was so high. So I was like, oh, shit, you know. So his name is Cold Fingers, and he was there in attendance. So we go upstairs. We're looking for Blackbeard. And he's calling out, Beard, Beard. So then Blackbeard... And Alien pop out. And I've seen Alien before at RP2 Lyrics in Atlanta. Actually, is the only time I've seen him uh, before then. And But it was just um, what he did at RP2 Lyrics was like some shit that nobody's ever seen. Like people were spazzing out because of what he was doing because it was just so hot. So when I got there, it was like, oh, okay, I'm going to, you know, document Blackbeard. And I was happy for that. But then it was like, <gasps> And cold fingers and alien too. So I was. It was like a, a a trifecta or you know some something dope for me. It was just like ah, I get to do this. So I was happy as shit. And it was just something that like set the night off right. So while this this doc is definitely on Blackbeard, you might see a couple of images of. Alien or Cold Fingers in here because they were there and so you know I have to be true to the way the night was um, The way I met Blackbeard was Years ago in New York City in Harlem me and my homegirl um, Went to Harlem. We were just like walking around, you know trying to find the black that was left up there <laughs> Oh, So we went up there um, and it was this like little Rasta reggae shop up in um up in Harlem and we met this dude and we got to talking to him and everything and some kind of way we figured out that you know he was from Atlanta or lived in Atlanta or had people in Atlanta or something so um, you know we kind of you know swapped information and kept in touch actually so it's just been one of those things where you know you just keep in touch with somebody that's like not like your best friend or nothing like that but definitely just somebody that you keep in touch with so um, one of the things that I wanted to do during this jam session I'm going back to the night that I'm shooting him is that the energy in the room was like so high maybe it was just because I was just so excited because earlier in the week there was this conversation that a group of people were having um, about Della and one of the conversations centered around like loving what you do like for real loving what you do and me being in the room with those three cats I was like these cats love what they do you know you can sense it in them you can sense it in the face like cold fingers faces like he was you know he was feeling it it's not for anybody else that was there because it was only the four of us there so it wasn't like you know oh I'm gonna get some bitches afterwards or you know no this is some shit that we like to do we like to rock out we like to jam out I like you know playing my guitar I like doing my music and one of the cool things that I witnessed during this this um, rehearsal time that they had was that they all equally learned from each other as well like not only the songs, but you can tell it was like a genuine interest. It wasn't like, it's all about me, I'm Blackbeard. It's all about me, I'm Cold Fingers. It's all about me, I'm Alien. You know, it was like a collaborative thing. Like, they wanted to not only get what each other was doing, which I guess, yes, yeah, the, you know, the purpose of a, a, a rehearsal. But it wasn't like lopsided where it was, you know, just one person, you know, throwing stuff out. And... In that, I don't know how well they all know each other, but it was just seemed like this camaraderie started to happen just from the fact that they all love what they did 
and just off of the musicianship that they had so it was something that it was just um, interesting for me to see um, and, and kind of you know be like a fly on the wall and, and see that I, I, I love to see it it's that thing that they say about guys you know that they could just become friends with each other and, and I feel like I saw that so um, definitely check out Blackbeard his information is going to be on the next screen um, my name is Brandy Pettyjohn. I appreciate you for um, checking this out. Tell a friend about it. If you are an artist that you want to be docked, let me know. My information is on here. You can email me at Brandy's the Photographer at gmail.com. Check out Blackbeard at MySpace. He has a website. And I just love y'all. And see you next time. Um, our Beats and Lyrics is going to be in Baltimore. Peace.